Hey guys and welcome back to another video. By now we have successfully completed the basics of streamed series. And today in this video we are going to look at a practical example and we will build a BMI calculator web application using Streamlit. We will use all the basics concept that we have learned during the basics of Streamlit series and the files that we use for this particular video will be down in the description and do check them out. And without any further ado, let's get started. And as our clear basic step, we have to create a folder and in which we have to have our particular Python files. So let's create a new file and I will save it inside my desktop and in my desktop I have a folder named the BMI app and inside which I will call it as the app.py and now let's uh, shoot our terminal so let's open our command prompt and I will go to the particular directory so desktop and inside my desktop I will go to my BMI app and inside the BMI app I will run the app so streamlit run app.py and let's wait for a while and now let's import all the packages that we need so import streamlit as st and now I have to give a title for this app so st.title and my title will be this is my BMI calculator so now for this and let's save this and let's click on always rerun and we got our title and in order to make this app really interesting I have a particular uh, image too and now let's import that particular image so in order to do that I have to use the PIL package so from below I will import the small package inside it that is the image and I will import the image inside my python first so img and in which I will open the image so img dot open I mean the image dot open and I have saved it in the name I guess bmi dot jpg I guess and finally we will use our streamlit so st dot image and inside which I will pass my particular image file and now let's save this and check for it. and here we have our particular image and here this particular image I got from the Adobe stock and so we have its watermark here too and now let's move on to creating the web app so firstly in order to create a beautiful uh, BMI calculator we need to get two inputs from the user they are the uh, weight of that particular user in kilograms and the height of the particular user in meters so let's do it so and all these two values that we are going to get is uh, in the form of integers or in float numbers and we will and so we will use the number input function here so let's name it as the weight and weight equals st dot number input and in which I will name it as the uh, enter your weight in kilograms and then I will get the input from the user and finally and I will get the site so st dot number input and in which I will get his height in meters so enter your height in meters so let's type meters okay and let's save this and let's see how it looks like in our web app and it is pretty much cool where we can increase the weight here and now let's give the step value as 0 0.1 maybe so it will be pretty good so 
I will give the step value to be 0 0.1 and let's save this and now yeah this will be very much cool for the user too so if he wants to type 55.6 and he wants to increase its weight to 55.8 and more he can do that so basically height must be increasing from 0 0.01 I guess and when we think of height and this particular uh, value is perfect so now we have to process the formula so i will calculate the bmi now so bmi equals the input weight divided by the height squared so this is the following bmi calculations formula and now let's print out the value so i will post this as a success message so st dot success and in which i will use the format strings here and i will tell him that your bmi is i will pass in the value of bmi bmi oops bmi and let's save this and now here we got the bmi value oops here it is very funny one so let's say my weight is 70 and my height is 1.7 and when i click enter my bmi turns out to be 24.2221 and something like that and having this basic stuff is not pretty much cool so what if, if someone doesn't know what a BMI particularly acts for so what it actually does so in order for them to understand what BMI is I have to give some introductory part before this following stuff and in order to do that let's write a text message over here so before the input I will give the following markdown as the introduction and let's use the a text function st dot text and inside with which uh, here in my notepad i have this following introductory part on what actual bmi is so and i got this particular information from this particular website so i gave them the credits too so let's use and and i will pass these particular text inside these codes so here it is it must be 3 3 yeah and now i will copy this and let's paste it here and here we have the particular introductory part so let's use a subheader now so st dot sub header and inside which I will tell them the introduction and let's save this oops press cancel and let's go on to our web app and here it is so this is my BMI calculator and here I gave them what is the full form of it so body mass index is over here and finally here I have the introductory part where it states what a BMI actually is and i think we have we can get this particular line to the bottom one and it would be easy for the users to read it and let's save this out and now it's perfect and here here the particular user can see what this particular bmi value means so here actually we got 24.22 that means it's lie under this particular area this is not actually my weight so the particular guy who has this following weights is in a healthy weight range and we also have the subcategories for obesity too where this following bmi index goes for these values and here we gave the credits to the particular website too and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and in this video we did not actually deploy our particular
BMI calculator web application inside Streamlit and I will make a separate video on it later. Thanks for watching, like the video, leave a comment down below and let's meet in the next video.